Okay, welcome to the group imaging instructional video for ordering our camp photo products. My name is Mike and I'll be walking you through the process today. First thing we want to do is open up a browser and go to groupimaging.com. That'll bring you to this page here and we're going to navigate over to the camps section. Click on that and this will bring up our camp page. Uh, look for the order here button, click on that, and it'll bring up a download dialog. Uh, we're going to download this file called launch.jnlp. Uh, I would save it to a desktop or somewhere that's easy to get to. Uh, you can also rename it. Um, I'm going to call it Group Imaging Camp Photos. Uh, and that way you can save it on your desktop, you know uh, where it is and what it is. Uh, so save that. Go find that on your desktop or wherever you saved it and double click that file. It's going to open the Java console, it's going to download the application and get it set up. If you don't have Java installed, it'll prompt you to do that at this time. Uh, first thing we see is uh, this page. It's kind of dimmed out um, because we're not logged in. So go ahead and enter in your shipping information. Um, and then once you get down to here on the email, uh, you're going to type in the email that you provided to us to use for, for this account. Uh, keep in mind that all this shipping information will be saved um, anytime you launch this application. Um, once that's entered, go ahead and click the login button. The screen's going to lighten up, letting us know that that uh, you're logged in. Uh, next, we're going to go to the order page. So we can get there with, with this tab up here or this button right over here where it says order prints. Uh, it's going to show us three sections. Okay, the first one over here on the side is your products or your templates. Uh, most camps only have one. Uh, this one's a demo account, so it's, we have multiples. Uh, you'll, you'll always see this Read Me First um, icon. If you don't see anything else, that means something's wrong with your account and we need to figure out what that is. So give us a call if that happens. Uh, the, next, the next section is the, the work area where uh, the template will be shown and we can add images to it, um, which brings us to our third section, which is the images area. Uh, this is where the photos that are on your computer will be uh, shown. Uh, to add those photos, we hit Add Images. Uh, it'll bring up um, you know, your files. Just, I have mine stored on the desktop. Uh, you can click on the folder and it'll bring all of them in. Uh, or you can go into the folder and click on any image and it'll still bring all of anything that's in that folder in. Uh, once these are in here, we can adjust the uh, thumbnail size down here at the bottom. If you want to make it bigger or smaller, you can. My screen's been reduced uh, for this video, so everything's kind of crammed right now. Um, i got to adjust it a little bit so I get my quantity box back over here. There we go. And now my thumbnail's really small, but I'll, I can zoom in, and that'll work for today. Um, so the first thing we want to do is select uh, our template. So I'm going to grab this first one right here. Uh, as soon as you click on it, it's going to uh, grab, download the image, the, the template file, and uh, this one's a border product, so we've got the border and then some text. Um, one other feature on this program is it will analyze the photo that you bring in. So you click on that, bring it over. If it's too small of a resolution or for or a file size, it'll let us know and say, "Hey, this isn't big enough uh, for printing on an 8x10." Um, so I've made this template. Um, to, uh, to automatically flag anything I drop in here. But uh, just so you know, if you get this, um, something's, something's not right, and give us a call. We'll see if we can help you figure out how to get uh, your camera to shoot at a higher resolution uh, for 8x10 printing. Um, all right, I'm going to cancel that. We're going to go to the next one over here. I'm going to click on the text-only product uh, for the 8x10. Um, real simple template. Uh, just do the same thing. Click and drag, bring that over. Uh, it's going to drop it right into place. Uh, this one actually looks pretty good. Uh, you can uh, resize the photo, crop it uh, by clicking on the photo, and then that's going to bring up this dialog box or toolbar down here. You can grab that slider bar, you can move it in, move it out. Uh, you can rotate the images left or right for horizontal or portrait. Uh, this triangle right here drops down the, the image rotation tool, so if it's a little bit off, off uh, skewed or not level, you can adjust that here as well. Um, this one actually looks pretty good. So uh, we're going to go ahead and just click into the text box. Uh, and this dialog box will open. And this is where we enter 
the text we want. So I'm going to go ahead and put something simple um, summer camp 2012. All right, so make sure everything looks good. You can um, everything spelled correctly. Uh, you can't add multiple lines of text on some templates. If uh, it gets too long, we'll say so we want. Let me show you this real quick. Uh, I can keep adding text; it'll automatically shrink the the font size to make everything fit. But just keep in mind, you don't want your text to get too small, uh, so it's too hard to read. So, all right, that's good. Um, we we'll go ahead and uh, enter a quantity. Just double check everything, make sure it looks right. Okay, we're good there. So uh, let's look it up. It's, these guys got six. Uh, then we'll just click on Add to Order. Okay, the screen's going to blink out, letting us know that it's been added to cart. Uh, if we look up here, there's one item in there. It also puts a little icon here at the top of the thumbnail to let us know, hey, that's that's in your cart. Uh, so we can go to the next product next, or next group. Um, go ahead and drag them over, and I can already see we need to zoom these guys in a little bit. So let's grab that slider bar, bring them in. Now they're a little off center, so we just click and drag and pull them over and maybe up just a tiny bit. So that looks pretty good there. Now, if you notice, the text stayed um, from the previous photo. This could help you out if you have multiple groups and only the, the group name changes. Um, so you, you would just click in the box and just change the group name and keep the date. Uh, so that will help speed things along. Uh, once everything's set, go ahead and highlight the quantity box again. Let's say these guys have got seven. Uh, click on Add to Order. And there it goes, up in the cart, two items. So you just continue on through uh, however, however many images or groups you have. Uh, once you're finished with that, you're going to come up here to My Cart, click on that tab, and just double check everything. Check your quantities, check your uh, the text that's on here. Sometimes the text is, is listed twice. Uh, don't worry about that, it's only going to print once. Some templates, that's just how they're built. Um, and if you do see something wrong, you can go over here and click on Edit Item. That'll bring you right back over here. Uh, you can make some changes, um, and you know, then once you make them, just hit Save and go back to My Cart, and it'll update everything. Uh, this field right here is really important. We need to know when campers are going home, uh, so we can make sure we get the photos back to you in time. Uh, so we're just going to put July 4th, 5 p.m. It's all good. Um, if there's any order comments you want to put in here, go ahead and do that. Um, if not, just clear it out or leave it. It doesn't matter. Uh, once you're ready for there, just click Checkout. Select your shipping option. We have FedEx or the Home Ship. If you select Home Ship, we'll contact you later to get the addresses to mail them to. Uh, payment options. If you're on terms, the top box is, is for you. Credit card option. It'll bring these uh, the additional fields that we need. And if you've prepaid, um, we'll go ahead and uh, select that one. Uh, once that's all done, double check your address. Uh, everything looks correct. Um, this top button should be selected for Send Now via the Internet. Um, the, the other one's only used for uh, uh, certain cases. Uh, so always select the top one. Then go to Place Order. Okay. Once that's been processed and ready, then you go to um, uploads, kind of see how it's doing. Uh, right here, you're going to have a progress bar that'll tell you how um, how long it's going to take to upload. Um, because of uh, technical reasons, I'm you know, I'm here in the building with the server. It's not going to connect, uh, but it's, it'll tell you how big the files are um, and how much information you have to uh, upload to us. And again, it'll give you a progress bar. Um, you can view and print an order report if you'd like, but you will be getting an email confirmation from us once it's uploaded, um, and that's that's actually the best one to go by uh, because it's verification that we've received your order. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, it will save these orders, so you can refer to them uh, later on. Um, one other note is uh, when you're in the cart, you can... Once you've added something to the cart, you can close the application, and it will remember uh, what you've got. So don't worry about uh, yeah, you know getting them all done at once or anything. You can you can put them together as you go. It'll remember the information. Um, I think that's about it. So if you have any questions, uh, just give us a call, uh, and we'll get you taken care of. All right. Thank you.